Hi, this is Derek from CheckThisHouse.com. As soon as you finish watching this presentation, you'll have a very good picture of a typical natural draft water heater vent pipe installation requirements. If you are watching it on my website, you can print the transcript of this video simply by clicking Print This Post link, which is located right above the upper left corner of the video player window. There are two common types of the gas water heater vents. The first one is a natural draft, which I will explain in this presentation, and the second one is an induced draft power vent type that uses PVC pipe for venting. This one will be covered in another video. You would think that by hiring a professional would simply eliminate your worries, but this isn't entirely the truth. I've seen many professional yet very unprofessionally performed water heater installations while performing home inspections over the last 13 years. Educate yourself, please, and ask the installer if there is something that looks different than described in this video. Natural draft type tank water heaters are still dominating and significantly cheaper than other types. And as long as the property has favorable structural conditions and a chimney dedicated for use with gas burning appliances, you can use this type of venting. The trick is to get the vent pipe installation correctly from the beginning and prevent serious, sometimes very hazardous conditions like carbon monoxide poisoning from ever happening. There are only three components of the natural draft water heater venting system, so it's really difficult to make a mistake during the assembly, if you know what you are doing of course. The first of those components is called a draft hood. Draft hoods serve a very important purpose, and if not installed correctly, carbon monoxide gases might be expelled into the living space. I'm pretty sure you are aware how dangerous carbon monoxide can be. The first purpose of the gas water heater draft hood is to provide additional air for the combustion process gases so they can be properly pulled out from the burner chamber which is at the base of the water heater and into the water heater vent pipe or chimney. The second purpose of the draft hood is to act as a device which in case of a downdraft a condition which forces air wind back into the vent pipe and the chimney it prevents air from extinguishing the gas burner. There are three basic draft hood requirements. Number one, the draft hood must be installed on top of the gas water heater in its center section right above the water heater vent. You can see on the picture that the draft hood sits on three, sometimes there might be four short legs, which are either secured to the water heater top plate with screws or, depending on the design of your appliance, has its legs shaped like pins or hooks at the end which are inserted into the water heater top cover holes. The uh, draft hood requirement number two. Notice on the picture how the draft hood has collapsed on its legs. This happened because the draft hood wasn't properly secured and it was supporting the entire vent pipe weight at the same time. Therefore, remember that for the gas water heater vent to operate properly, its draft hood has to be centered over the vent hole and its legs must be straight. Any displaced or deformed draft hood should be serviced and replaced if necessary. And the draft hood requirement number three. Natural draft water heater requires only one draft hood to operate properly. This water heater draft hoods come in a few different sizes. It's always best to use the new draft hood that came with your water heater, not the existing one that was attached to the old appliance, even if the new and old one look absolutely the same. When you purchase a new appliance, you might run into a situation like the one in the picture, a mismatched draft hood and vent pipe diameter. There are two scenarios. For example, if the draft hood that came with your water heater has a top opening diameter designed for a 3 inch vent pipe and you have a 4 inch vent pipe installed, use an adapter increaser to join both of them together.
However, if the guest water heater draft hood is larger, designed for a 4 inch diameter vent pipe, do not downsize it. Do not install any reducing connectors, adapters from a 4 inch draft hood to a 3 inch vent pipe just to accommodate your old venting system. Downsizing will prevent exhaust gases from discharging properly through the vent pipe and instead might partially or even completely direct them into your house. Remember to always replace the smaller diameter vent pipe with one that matches your new appliance requirements. For example, most 30, 40 and 50 gallon water heaters are using 3 inch diameter vent pipes. Some 50 gallon water heaters might require a 4 inch diameter vent pipe. 75 gallons and more will call for a 4 inch and larger diameter. Always follow manufacturer recommendations and comply with your local code requirements. Again, never downsize the vent pipe. Now let's talk about the second component of the water heater venting system, the vent pipe itself. First, the material. For the natural draft water heater, you should be using galvanized steel pipe only. Do not experiment with aluminum pipes, food cans with remove both ends, stainless steel sections, blue stove pipes, high temperature plastic tubing, flexible pipes, etc. Also, make the vent pipe section between the water heater and the chimney as short and as straight as possible. The common rule is that the horizontal part of the single wall vent pipe must be equal or shorter than 75% of its total developed height. Check my post for a picture explaining it. Another extremely important subject, single wall vent pipe connections. The draft hood and a single wall vent pipe connection should be secured with sheet metal screws, three per connection, on a single wall vent pipe are recommended. Do not use regular duct tape to secure or seal connections. Some building inspectors don't even allow aluminum tape on joints simply because it hides problems like corrosion or holes developing on the surface. If you are using a B-vent, which is a double wall vent pipe, you're supposed to use screws on the first connection only, to the draft hood or to the single wall vent pipe. Small diameter double wall to double wall vent pipe sections utilize twist lock fittings with no screws. Larger diameter B vent pipes might require screws on its joints. Guess water here a vent pipe must continuously run upward towards the chimney entrance. To provide proper draft, it should be rising at least a quarter of an inch per linear foot. No dips, no sags, proper support is required along its entire run. Some installations might be a significant challenge or even become impossible due to water heater height, location and chimney flue connection level. In such cases, consider using an induced draft motor equipped water heater. The next step is the maintenance routine. You have to periodically monitor vent pipes for corrosion and deterioration. If you notice something, investigate. Draft problems, condition of the chimney and inadequate amount of combustion are usually responsible for those problems. Most common areas to look for the corrosion are along the bottom portion of the pipes and on connector edges. Once it starts corroding, the vent pipe wall becomes very soft and might fall apart even under the slight pressure. Corroding gas water heater vent pipes should be replaced as soon as possible to prevent possibility of exhaust fumes and carbon monoxide poisoning. Now a few no-nos. Number one, a single wall gas water heater vent pipe cannot be installed closer than six inches from combustible materials such as floors, wall framing, paper, etc. Such installation could create pyrophoric conditions and a fire hazard. Pyrophoric condition is when a material ignites spontaneously at significantly lower temperature if it is constantly exposed to heat. So, if something would normally ignite at 500 degrees Fahrenheit by applying constant heat to it, that ignition point might be lowered to, let's say, 250 degrees Fahrenheit. It's just an example. Number two, single wall gas water heater vent pipes cannot be used in unheated, unconditioned areas like attic, garage, crawl space, even if only partially penetrating that space. 
Such installation will cause excessive condensation on vent pipe walls and compromise proper drafting. Double wall, B-vent type pipe is required for those applications. And number three, single wall gas water heater vent pipe cannot be used inside the walls, ceilings, and any inaccessible areas. Again, double wall type vent pipe B-vent must be installed in those cases. I'd like to say this is it, but there are some other very important topics associated with the water heater vent pipe installation. One of them is the third component of the water heater venting system, the chimney. Please visit my website for more extremely important information about water heaters, venting and chimneys. Search under plumbing and HVAC category. Remember to always consult your local building department and licensed professional prior to performing water heater installations.